Hello, this is Ian from Lean Media. I'm gonna show you a pretty neat trick today for your Shopify store, how to embed a Google Doc on your Shopify store. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me and let's get started. So this is one of my Shopify stores. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blog post and then I'm going to embed this press release on the blog post. And you may be thinking, well, why would you do something like that? The reason is it's better to actually embed a uh, Google Doc in the blog post if it's something like a press release rather than just copying and pasting the press release over because if you have multiple versions of the press release floating around and you forget to update one of them for instance let's say that I change the date from April the 4th to April the 10th I have to update it in every single every single place if I'm just copying and pasting instead if I'm embedding this blog post right onto the Shopify store whenever I make a change to this particular press release it will be automatically updated wherever it's embedded so this is really a time-saving uh, method so let's get started on this the first thing I'm going to do is actually on my Shopify store I'm going to create a new blog post so this is the online store area I'm looking at the themes page you'll notice right below themes is blog posts I don't know if you're using your uh, blog on your Shopify site, but I, I really recommend that you do that because it's a way to get content out. It's a way to reuse your newsletter content, for instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a blog post, and then I'm just going to call it press release. I could call it something else like, uh, you know, new book announcement or something like that. But I'm just going to call it press release. And then here I'm going to, I'm going to just type some very simple text that... Uh, basically says that this is a Google Doc. So this is an embedded Google Doc, colon, and then return. Now, this is important. Uh, I need to switch to what's called HTML view, and this, is, this allows me to paste in computer code that will basically pull in the Google Doc that I'm going to be uh, using here. On Shopify, the way to do that, look for these two pointy brackets button. It says show HTML click on that and this is HTML in the text that I'm using so I'm gonna get rid of that and then I'm going to go to thyroid press release announcement I'm going to go to file share publish to the web okay there's two ways to do this one is just a link the other way is to embed it I want to embed it but first I have to publish it to the web so I'm gonna click the button that says publish sure you want to do that yes and here's the code so all I need to do is uh, highlight the code and then right click over it. So I'm going to right click copy. By the way, this is the same if you're doing it on a Mac or Windows PC or even a Chromebook. It, it'll work the same way as long as you can log into these particular sites. So I've just copied this text, this computer code. I'm going to go back to my Shopify site. I'm going to paste it in. So right click, paste. And there it is. Make it a little bit easier to look at. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Uh, I'm going to save it first, and then I'm going to click the preview button. So here it is. This is an embedded Google Doc. Now there's a little bit, bit of a problem here. I can see the logo, and I can see the uh, press release, but it's really skinny. It's too skinny, actually. So I want to tell the computer code to actually render this in a different format. So I'm going to go back to the blog post and do a little editing. So I'm going to click on the Show HTML button again. And right after it says embedded true, or right before the um, this closing pointy bracket, put a space, I'm gonna type width equals 800, put that in quotation marks, and then height equals 1200, quotation marks, okay? And let's see if we can preview that again. And there we go. So it basically created a much bigger box. I still have to use the scroll bar to see the whole thing. But at least people, when they come to this particular web page, once I publish it, they'll be able to see the uh, press release right there. Now, there's a couple considerations for this that you should be aware of. One is that the SEO will not work in the same way that it usually does um, for a, a Shopify blog post because it's basically pulling in the code from someplace else rather than um, the you know the original code, the original text published on a web page. But if this is something that's not particularly important or you're in a situation where you have this Google Doc and you're 
you want to publish it in multiple places and then keep it updated as you update the Google Doc, then this is a pretty uh, cool method to use. So I hope that's helpful. If, it, if you want to see more tips on how to get the most out of Shopify, Amazon, and other websites, go to leemedia.org. That's my official website. Look for the uh, links in the show notes and click on blog or video, and I have tons more free information and tips like this. This is Ian Lamont signing off. Thank you so much for watching.